Magical Musings number two. 50 episodes in and I've finally caught COVID. Yeah, welcome to the second installment of Magical Musings. Remember, these are five minute episodes sharing my thoughts, feelings, uh, reflections about the last month's worth of podcasts and just thoughts and feelings. And 50 episodes in, I mean, what an achievement. Absolutely impressed and so proud. I finally got to 50 episodes. That's a, a really big milestone in anyone's podcast journey and in just over a year as well, which is really great. But didn't think that the time the 50th episode would come out that I would finally catch COVID. I've dodged it for so long. But yes, as I am recording, I can't believe as I record this episode, I am in isolation. And let me tell you, it's pants. For two years, like a ninja, I've dodged COVID. And uh, what a time to go into isolation. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so gutted. Uh, you can probably tell by the sound quality of my voice. It's not great. It's a bit rough. Um, but let me tell you the story quickly. Just it's a, a quick one, really. As you know, I go out to events and perform in the real world. And unfortunately, started to get some symptoms last week. So just before Christmas, on the Tuesday before Christmas, I um, we were going down to Brighton to see our family, to see Danielle, my fiance's family. And I just got this really strange, well, it happened kind of Monday night at the end of some gigs started to feel a bit run down a bit of an ulcer in my uh, uh my mouth so i just thought i've just been busy lately i'm a bit run down and then yeah the day after i started to really come down with some heavy symptoms which was just fever uh just shivering at the hot temp hot air on in the car full blast as i was driving down to brighton and uh just felt really like a, a lack of energy but kind of went to bed sweated it out slept all night then the next day kind of felt a little bit better and just drove home tested negative on both days as well and even went to work the next day and i was fine testing negative and then uh, on uh, thursday danielle started to feel really bad my fiance so we we tested went for a drive through pcr uh, test and uh, yeah turns out that we're positive for covid which was absolutely gutting for two years dodged this like a ninja and then uh, yeah christmas um was, was ruined unfortunately well well, it's not ruined, of course. I'm truly grateful for being at home. Um, but obviously going into isolation for up to 10 days is not the greatest time of year to do it around Christmas when we had lots of plans to go see family who we've not seen in a long time on Boxing Day. So really gutted that we uh, kind of went to isolation. But this is the world we're in now. This is just something that we live with. And I know that looking on uh, social media, a lot of friends, family, peers, and even wedding suppliers that I work with uh, are all feeling it at the minute as well. So yeah, um, the time that I'm recording this, I'm now getting out almost of the 10 days of isolation, which is good news. Lots of different information out there, which is very difficult to interpret, but uh, finally got some solutions of, I know what I'm doing now. Uh, obviously feeling a lot better as well. That's the main thing as well. So really happy we're feeling really good. And uh, yeah, looking forward to coming out of isolation. And we're going to plan for a second Christmas uh, with the family in the new year, which will be nice. But what a time to go into isolation. So that's one of my musings of uh, Magical Musings, the second installment of, I can't believe I finally got COVID, but um, pleased and very grateful that I was still able to have a wonderful Christmas with Danielle and baby Alma as well. So baby Locke's first Christmas was lovely and um, it didn't kind of inhibit too many different plans, which is nice. But I guess, yeah, Magical Musings as well. So one of my other thoughts and thinking of is that, you know, 50 episodes, really grateful for that. That's a huge achievement. I can't believe that I finally got to 50. I think it's actually 52. I need to really count this up and I probably will once I'm actually back to full health because there will be another episode that comes out by the end of this year, which will just be 10 lessons I've learned from 2021. So watch this space as that comes out. But yeah, Magical Musings, I've obviously put down about I'm going to be a father and that's some of the things that's really kind of pushed a lot of my thinking. And as I've been going back out to perform and, um, you know, going to events and speaking uh, at events online as well, one of the main things now is at the back of my mind is uh, Baby Lock and now that I'm a father. So it's crazy that I think my, my world is shifting now and I obviously wrote the Magical Musings first one. If you want to go listen, go back on these episodes and find Magical Musings number one, which was called I'm Going to Be a Father. And, and that's kind of obviously in my mind that's making me think about a lot of things. And as I shape the podcast for 2022, that's going to revolve around that. So watch this space. But 
yeah, very short episode, as always, always under five minutes. Magical Musings, I've caught COVID. I'm now feeling better, so that's good. So uh, coming out at the end of this now, which is nice and uh, ready for the new year. Ironically, it's the day before uh, a new year that I, I come out of COVID isolation, so that's good. But 50 episodes, thank you so much to everyone's support. I will do a full proper episode when I'm feeling back to normal again. But due to me being in isolation and uh, feeling a bit bit worse for wear the full podcast service will resume but as always thank you for listening to this episode it's a short one but magical musings number two there will be another magical musings every single month so watch this space five minutes of just unscripted thoughts and feelings about what's going on in my life anyway as always thank you for your support and thank you to the patrons anthony howe sherry brenton steve mcdermott and rory balance for supporting this podcast merry christmas to you wherever you are Take care of yourselves, guys, and uh, yes, see you in 2022 when I'm out of isolation and feeling good. Bye-bye!